Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. In this episode, we're heading into the very menacing Dark Palace. Ooh. This place can be a little tricky, however, at the beginning of the game you got a little lantern. So lanterns are going to help you out a lot. Now the only two things you honestly need here are bombs and the lantern. The first thing we want to do, we want to throw that bomb over there. To activate this little trolley thing, next we want to toss another bomb. And that is going to open up the windows of the dungeon. Making this weird eyeball switch have light on it and apparently activate this door. So that's pretty cool. Now essentially I'm going to be cutting... Well, not really cutting the butter. That really doesn't make any sense. I don't know why I was about to say that. But I'm going to be cutting to the chase here, guys. I'm going to try and get this place done pretty quickly. Now we want to step on the switch real quick. But that's going to make a small key appear. And also we're going to bomb this little wall thing. I was gonna make a beam of light go very far down into the dungeon, to the basement. Now, there's actually a lot you have to explain really quickly, so pardon me for a second. That beam of light is one of four we're gonna have to activate to challenge the boss of this dungeon. The demon that Hilda was, well, talking about. The other thing I want to talk about is, you see when I put my lantern away? There's these little things. They're apparently guiding us somewhere. Onto this very odd platform where the small key is. However, when standing on these platforms, if we use the lamp turn again, it disappears. Very odd. So keep that in mind when doing some of the harder puzzles in this dungeon. Because it's going to be very helpful if you know that mechanic. Now, oh gosh, I don't like this part. This is very reminiscent to... Eh, get in here. Eh. It's very reminiscent to the Eastern Palace. Speaking of the Eastern Palace, we're going west to the west door. So we're going to grab the compass really quickly. The compass is very helpful in this dungeon. Just as it's helpful in every other dungeon, simply throw two bombs in relative time in between to get that chest to appear. Very simple stuff. Ooh, it's gonna show us where all of the treasure chests are. Awesome! No. We need to do a couple things. Oh my gosh, why do I keep doing that? We use the second X button to light things, because that is very helpful, and that stupid ghost came out of nowhere. Which I guess is how ghosts really operate and all, but whatever. In this room, um, technically you don't have to do it right now, but it's a little bit helpful if you do. These are Garayas, I think? I want to say they're Garayas, but I'm not too sure. This one mimics your movements, and you cannot actually deal damage to him with your sword. So simply use the bombs, and you'll be okay. It's pretty easy, actually. And that's gonna make this platform uh, up here, I guess. I don't, I don't think you know. First thing we want to do is we're gonna go to the lower half, and we're gonna bomb right here. This is gonna. Mm, I probably should have went up first, huh? Hmm. Yeah, it's not a big deal. So basically, there's just one very insignificant treasure here, the monster tail. But if we go up, there's gonna be 50 rupees, which is very nice to get. So I'm just gonna show off most of the rupee chests. It's pretty stupid though, because I should have went up first and then, like, down, because we actually have to go down. Now, there's multiple ways to get down into the basement floor of this dungeon or palace, whatever the crap you want to call it. But I find this place to be very uh, easy. Basically, if you want to get down into the basement, look at the bottom screen. There's a blue arrow. It's to the north of the dungeon. So, that's pretty simple. Purple Rupee, just like I said, I want to treat you guys wrong. I'm not going to steer you astray, man. And yeah, like I said, let's go back in this room. Let's fall down this hole and go down to the basement Ooh, to get a chest. Yeah, pretty nice. It's just a monster horn, but we're actually in a very interesting room. This room has those same platforms that we dealt with in the same, like, room of the dungeon. It's another small key. Actually, it was second room, so, yeah. Who really cares? It's just a technicality, after all. Ooh, let's move past these little dudes, these hermolocks. Really irritating. Zelda enemies! Just, you stubborn little dude! Get out of here, man! Now, this is the main floor of the dungeon. You see these little beams of light? Yeah, we're missing two. Now, how do we get those two? It's kind of a complicated process, but we'll come back to this room very later. Actually, just in a couple seconds, but it's not a big deal. Okay, let's get rid of that light and uh, stop shooting fire. You can't actually damage these little fire dudes because they're actually hanging out on top of the floor of the maze. And you know, basically all you gotta do is, well, I guess this is a little easier. Turn off your lamp. You can actually see everywhere, however, if you turn it back on, which I probably should have equipped to do this, you can see a little skull, and beneath that skull is 
Yes, another small key we're gonna get. So we're gonna turn our lamp off again, swap it out with the arrows really quickly. And yeah, this is a pretty cool idea for a puzzle. It's very nice. And there's our second small key. However, there is another small key to the north that we definitely want to grab. However, at the moment, I do not think I can get that. But I will try to jog my memory and see if we can. And I think I need the lamp on again. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, uh, yeah, let's merge in here real fast. And there we go. This is the main lobby, I guess if you want to call it. You can get back to the first floor. And how on earth do I... Oh, okay. We need to go up to get that. I forgot, but I will remember very soon, do not worry. And yeah, so now what we need to do is we need to get that, which is you just bomb right here. Mm-hmm, wait a little bit, and then fall back down. I could have technically done this a little bit earlier, but it doesn't matter. So now we have literally three small keys. That's a lot of small keys, guys. So now we're going to go back to that main room, which uh, which way is easier? Honestly, this way, because there's less of those hermalocks, so... We're going to do that real fast, just merge on the walls, and you'll be good. Don't need to die, because there's no reason to, I'm not going to die. going to merge in the walls, and this is the worst song ever created. Huzzah, we are done. Okay. Next on the to-do list, we're going to use these small keys that we got on this floor to get a big key, which is going to let us fight the boss, which is very, very important. Simply come over here, and to make this all easier, just use your little lamp. And okay, this part is a little tricky. For a couple of reasons. First off, there's... You got time. Oh, gosh, that wasn't the bomb at all. Dang, I would have really been glad if that hit. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Essentially, we have to throw three bombs into three little slots of the dungeon. And once they're all lit up, it's going to make the big key show up. And I did that kind of sloppily. Kind of glad that I eventually got the big key to let us open up that huge door. So, wow, there's a lot of keys in this dungeon, huh? Now that we got the big key, let's use our Pegasus boots and come all the way over here to this very strange room. Which is technically the halfway point of the dungeon, but I really don't feel like it is. Essentially, you gotta get these Gariahs to fall down and come over here. Problem is, is that red Gariah, who's quite the pain in the butt. So simply just get one at a time, or maybe not one at a time. Do whatever you want. It's your Snake and Zelda game. But, personally, I'm just gonna do this and... Okay, so we took one heart of damage, but so did he, and we can heal, and this guy kind of can't. So, whatever. Once they're all been defeated, this platform in the center will rise, and we can, well, progress a little bit further. Mm hmm Crap. Come on. <laughs> that was bullcrap. That was so close. Uh, whatever. So now, here is the problem. You're probably thinking, well, what the crap? Why did I come over here? If that's already up. Silly Billy, you gotta merge into the wall. Why? I don't think you know. And yeah, take a break right here real fast. How's it going, guys? You having a great day? Personally, I'm having a great day. Because we're playing Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds, one of a really good game from the people in Nintendo. Anywho, I'm not funny. I'm not going to pretend like I am. That is going to reveal another one of these switches. So yeah, we got two more to go. You need to do this before you go to the third floor. That is very important. Or actually, technically, if you count the basement, or if you don't count the basement, it's the second floor, so... And I don't need to turn my lamp off, I already know where I'm going. Or do I? No, I don't. Okay, merge, get out, okay. So now we're going to the highest point in the temple, or palace, whatever. The second floor, which we now have a small key that we can use in the lobby to go up. Technically, you could go up, I think. I don't... I don't think there is a way to mess up this dungeon. This is a little bit tricky. Make that bomb put there, and then merge into the wall. You're gonna flip like that, get out. Probably gonna put another bomb right there, it doesn't really hurt. Yeah, we might use that later. Don't know. Don't know. I don't think there's... Is there a... It's probably, like, not a very useful chest, so I'm not gonna bother. And really quickly, though, put another bomb down, chuck it over there. Come over here. That's gonna open up the door. Yeah, you can fall down, but it's not really the end of the world. This dungeon room is very, very complex and very, very difficult if you're stupid like I am. However... I had really good friends helping me, so now we can see, oh, this is where these lights were appearing, oh, it meant crap, dude, okay, so these were these lights are appearing, and if we throw a bomb up there, that's gonna make another light appear, and go back down to the basement, yeah, it's gonna make those lights show up, pretty nifty, huh, so now we just have to deal with that one up, no, we need to get more, actually, so we're gonna hit that switch real fast, and then merge into the wall, We. hmm, okay, 
Then we're going to plant another bomb, and I think we have to put another bomb right here. Right. That's going to make the other beacons of light shoot out of outside and go into the basement of the dungeon. Now that that has all been done, we can fight the boss. Yeah, this place is actually pretty easy. But before we do that, you can probably see there's a treasure chest right here. That's all you gotta do to get it. It's pretty darn easy. It's just monster guts. Don't know why they put it in such an annoying place. However, a treasure chest that is not easy to get this is the one over here, and I need to put that back down. Okay. So we're gonna use our lantern real quick just to... Oh my gosh. <laughs> the problem is, you can use the sword to extinguish the flame which is keeping you alive and these enemies need to die. Okay, so to get this next thing, which we desperately want. Mm, mm, okay, so let me think about this real fast. This is basically a master ore. Yeah, I'm kind of spoiling it, I guess, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, okay, if I put that up, no, that one doesn't go up. Credit. Hmm. I cannot remember how to do this for the life of me. Where is the switch to do that? Okay, I remember now. So, really quickly, we need to put a, a bomb down, come over here, merge onto the wall. There we go. That's the Master Ore. Yeah. Really tricky to get. Uh, it even threw me off a little bit, even though I've played the game like a good amount of times. So, oh, no, we need to put a bomb there. Yeah. Merge onto the wall. And you get out the same way that you came in. Pretty simple. Okay. So now we... Mm, I guess we can go out this way. It's pretty much the same thing as the other way, though. Yeah, it's not really hard, honestly. Just leave. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple, okay. But to exit, we are going to, I guess, do these. I don't really think there's anything worthwhile getting on the bottom, but you might as well check it out. It's probably just some roops. Actually, let's put another bomb down there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's rupees. Um, you know how to get it. I'm not gonna waste time just showing a couple rupees. And we're gonna fall all the way down to the basement. Cool, huh? Now, if I didn't miss any... Stinking. I really hope I didn't miss any, but if we didn't miss any beacons of light, we can actually go fight the boss of the shadow. The dark palace. Don't I call it shadow? That doesn't make any sense. Like it's something in a shadow temple. Walking in time, but hey, whatever. It doesn't really matter. So, did we do it? Did we do it? Did we do it? Yes, we did! So, now all of these switches have been activated. We can go fight the boss of the Dark Palace. A really cool dungeon. Personally, it's up there with the Thieves' Den. I like it a whole bunch. It's really good, and yeah, we got full hearts. Now let's put the big key in, and go take on the boss, Ugh, who is apparently being kind of, like, praised by all the people that used to guard Lowrow Castle, but aren't anymore. And it's none other than an old favorite of mine, the Helmosaur King. This time, he has a new mask. It's covered up in rupees. Kind of cool. Simply, spawn bombs, chuck bombs, add his head. Really easy. I think you can throw skulls, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like, this very fragile old skull can actually damage him. It's kind of silly, actually, if you think about it. And oh, no, that one had energy in it. Crap. Kind of don't want that. That may actually not damage him, but... I don't know. Anyway, let's just throw another one. Throw another bomb, and more rupees. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> You gotta do this a couple times before he'll, you know, basically just fight you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why he can't just fight me right now. Well, technically we're fighting, but you can't really damage him exactly. And did I really just drop that? Oh, get me out of the corner, dude. This isn't Marvel. Come on. And enough times being bombarded with bombs, his helmet will split up, and then you just slash him in the head. Probably avoid his slashes, though. However, this is the cool part. He's gonna absorb all of the light inside of here and gain a dark aura which is very dangerous so basically just come over here wait for him to do his rounds and oh no I actually don't have enough energy to use the lantern so let's just dodge him oh gosh oh my goodness Ugh. okay 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 so there we go once the lights are back on he's back to his old self and doesn't have his super armor or whatever you want to call it eh. <laughs> that's what I like doing that oh goodness he's taking a bite out of crime however I took a bigger bite and the Gemasaur King has been defeated. Huzzah! We did it. We defeated the Dark Palace and I think a pretty decent time. Not gonna lie. We missed a couple treasure chests, but hey. It's not the end of the world. And then, hey, we rescued another, uh, sage, I think. But where the crap is he? He was up there the whole time! It's Billy! Or, what was your name again? I don't even think I remember. Let's get a heart piece and ask him. Uh, what was your... Who are you again? 
Weren't you that kid that like yelled at me at the beginning? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a long time actually. I kind of can't remember. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's none other than Golly. Mm. Hey, is that really you, Link? Oh, where am I? Where's my mom and papa? Haha, <laughs> did you fall for it? I'm not scared. Why would I be? I'm a seven sage. Um, did I say that right? Whatever. <laughs> it sounds like a big deal. So you'd better make sure you rescue all seven of us seven sages. Wow, that's really a mouthful. Yeah, golly, I guess it kind of is. And so far, we've rescued, well, three of the seven sages. Just four more to go, guys, and they're all rescued. Huh, we're making a lot of progress. And yeah, that's the Dark Palace, a really great Zelda dungeon. It will forever be in my mind, and hey, all the stinking guards are gone. That's pretty useful, so we can exit this place and come back whenever, if we ever need to, which we probably won't since we got the Master War and everything. So blah, blah, blah. It doesn't really matter. And yeah, spe you know, I think we have two Master Wars now, don't we? We do! So in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, a link between worlds, we're gonna see what we can do with these mysterious metals. Hmm. Thank you all so much for watching, I'll see you guys then. Bye.